Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at this geometry problem. It has to deal with circles and it's actually pretty interesting. So it says point O is the center of the circle above and the measure of angle OAB is 30 degrees. All right, so that's going to be 30 degrees right there. Boom. If the length of a uh, line segment uh, OC is 18, so this is 18, what is the length of arc A? So I think this is the minor arc of AB right here. Um, well, the first thing to note here is that OC represents the radius, right? Or the, the radii, the radius. Yeah, the radius. Um, so because OC is the radius, right? Because it goes from one point uh, on the circle to the center, we know that the radius has a value of 18. Now, the same thing happens from B to O um, and as well as A to O. And therefore, we know that the sine length of AO is going to be 18. So let me write is 18 and the side length of BO is also 18. Now here's what's interesting, right? Because we these two side lengths are equal, right? We know they're uh, opposite angles. The angles opposite to them are also going to be the same, right? And so if this right here, a 30 degree angle is opposite of 18, we know that this angle right here is also going to be 30 degrees. And it's kind of funny because now we have a isosceles triangle, right? So it works out in the end. So this angle right here, we can conclude is 120 degrees. Boom. All right, so now how do we actually solve for the length of AB, right? Well, here's the thing. We know that um, AOB, that angle, the 120 degrees right here, that is the inscribed angle of the arc of AB. So technically speaking, the length of the arc is 120 degrees. However, we want to express it in first off radians and also it will be based on the circumference of the circle, right? So first off, let's just find the circumference of the circle. So the circumference of a circle is equivalent to 2 pi times radians. And therefore, our radians, uh, or sorry, the radius, not the radians. So the radius is equivalent to 18, right? So we can just do 2 times 18 is 36 pi. And so that is our circumference, all right? And so in order to calculate the length of the arc, what we can just do is first just find the ratio to scale it up. So we have 120 degrees over 360. So that in reality in itself is just one third, right? So what we want to do is just take one third of that circumference. And so one third of that circumference, which we know the circumference is 36 pi. So 36 pi oops, 36 pi, let's just divide this by 3, because we know that this angle represents a third of it. And so we can just do 36 over 3, which is 12, and keep the pi, so we don't have to simplify it completely. And so our final answer here is going to be the answer of 12 pi, and let's see, it does match up with answer choice B, and therefore that is our answer. 